And matter of fact, James, who's the brother, no one the disciples got complained about that. Now, when he comes to Mary Magdalene, the church has lied about her because they call her a prostitute. So there's a whole lot in the churches that go, no, that was a result of certain factions way back when the church was Roman Catholic, who didn't like the fact that, mind you, way back there in the first century that they're in Europe, um, Christ, Christ and Christians are still radical Jews. Matter of fact, you can consider the whole religion of Christianity is the success of a radical Jewish sect. Because Jesus in Africa was not a Christian. He was being followed by them. He was a Jew. He was circumcised. No Christians are circumcised. So what you had was a radical Jew in Africa being told by the Orthodox Jews, mind you, Mary Magdalene, when she met David, uh, Joseph, she was already pregnant. So the Orthodox Jews were calling Jesus a bastard who hung out with prostitutes, right? That's what they were saying. So when they got to Europe, right, what happened was, okay, well, the Catholic said, well, let's see how we're going to get rid of this. We're going to say, not that Jesus was a bastard, but that God impregnated Mary. Who? Oh, probably saw. The other thing was about Mary Magdalene. If you saw, and I bet it's still on the public uh, station, about 30 years ago, there was a two hour show by historical theologians, theologians who went back and checked out Mary Magdalene. She was, shown, according to them, a very rich woman who hung out with other rich ladies. And yeah, she liked sex. She was profligate. She was fucking everybody. But she had a lot of money. She was not a prostitute. So when you get to Europe, right, a very, now a very paternalistic Christianity, which that wants men to be the number one around you, even to this day, you're probably a Christian, um, 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 female Christian minister, right? So what they did was the people who were paternalistic side, because you and I have known for a couple of centuries there was a fight between strictic sects about what it was going to be, what the world was going to be, what the Bible was going to look, all of that. King James comes along and makes the King James Version. But at a certain point, not only did they claim that Mary was impregnated by Jesus, but that Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. That eliminated or said anything about her being one of the women who actually supported Jesus and the unemployed guy he held up with for like three years, which was the fact. The fact is that Mary Magdalene met Jesus and Mary, yes, she did impact his life and caused her to start changing, but she was never a prostitute. She was a very According to the Christian theologian, a very rich woman who hung out with other rich women, and they backed Jesus and his disciples. That's how they were able to go three years, you know, without working. But when uh, Christianity got to Europe, the Catholic Church had a fight, had a fight, and the group that won changed, said Jesus was born to God impregnating Mary, and that Mary Magdalene was in fact a prostitute. Now, I don't know again what this crisis they started, but we get on some stuff where I digress because I used to be a Christian and you know a whole lot of that stuff that didn't help me, John. Help me to get out of this. <laughs> mm. You know, so much of this stuff you, you, you tell me, I gotta, after this, I gotta go do my research because you dropping, we, we going from parts of your career to a bunch of lighthearted, uh, funny, you know, comedic stories to some real serious topics that impact all our lives in, 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 in the way that we believe and see and think. Some of the stuff I've never even heard of. So I'm literally, as you're talking, writing this down, because after this, I got to go and do my own research. I had never heard that before. Really? <laughs> there was no. 
No, not obviously we 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 know the Virgin Mary. We know uh Mary Magdalene. But we know it, you know, I'm a Christian. I, I know it as right. I have been taught. And mind you, you know, when I talk so, like this, so, I'm not at all criticizing any religion. I'm simply talking about I was immersed in it. And by the time I was in my early 20s, a lot of stuff came to me that caused me to not want to be a Christian, okay? And I was impacted, for instance, by the fact that my grandfather and his minister friends were not only cheating on their wives, but, in, you know, getting down with a lot of ladies in the church. I'm a naive teenager, right? When I'm in my 20s, I'm also impacted can realize, hey, Christianity you had a lot of white Christians during 350 years who used Christianity to, in fact, enslave brown skin people. That hit me, right? Uh, for that matter, and it had to be a racist thing because if, in fact, you were to worship Jesus as he is described in the Bible as a woolly head brown skin person, you cannot ever enslave a woolly head brown skin person which is what white America did for 250, 250 years. The only way they could do it, in this case, is to lie about the person they worship. And in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, I'm growing up with white Christians who are the main people behind segregation. And when does it happen? I'm seeing white KKK members lynch, lynch, lynch black people, black men every other week and having white juries filled with white Christians exonerates them. Yes, yeah, so by the time yeah, I'm 20, yeah. 21, 20, I'm being hit with that. And also, again, the whole thing that they lied about Jesus, for me, all of that impacted me by the time I'm. So I started my trip away from Christianity then. Not that I don't understand that you can be a Christian who knows all of that and who believes in the philosophy of Jesus and say, okay, I know all that, I'm still going to church. To me, I understand that. But for me, when I was in my early 20s, it made me not want to be a Christian. And to this day, I don't regret the church. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.